Today, we're going to be talking about MailChimp. Did you get your account suspended or are you having account issues with MailChimp? Today, we're going to dive into that. I'm also going to share with you some really good information about how to figure out why your account was suspended because MailChimp is very, very uh, vague about the reasons for their suspension. So I'll show you how to figure out why was your account suspended? What are the issues going on? I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to resolve it pretty quickly. And if you stay to the end of the video, I will definitely share with you some of our experience in how to get your account uh, established and running really smoothly. Hey everyone, this is Chad Agarwal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. I, we are a digital marketing agency based here in Parsippany, New Jersey. So if you are local, give us a shout out. We specialize in SEO, digital marketing, content, design, custom software, and so much more. So if you're looking for somebody who needs to integrate a CRM or build a new website or drive traffic, uh, we're your team. We do it all in-house and we've been doing it for about nine years now. Being a digital agency, we've worked with MailChimp for a number of years now. We're actually a MailChimp partner. Uh, I don't know if it's a preferred partner or whatever the proper term is, but we are a MailChimp uh, partner or agency. So we can actually manage many companies and accounts through our agency dashboard. So we've seen a lot of different uh, issues or account issues that you've seen. So we can definitely help you out in resolving some of those. Set up different companies on MailChimp and we have seen a number of companies that have come to us with a problem uh, where their account is already suspended or uh, maybe they're not getting very good open rates or good response from the campaigns that they currently have in place, or they're having trouble growing their list. So I would like to tell you a quick story uh, before we jump into it about how we were able to increase the number of subscribers dramatically on uh, one of our clients' accounts uh, from just about, I think they had 500 accounts. And when the company actually got sold, they had uh, I think over 10,000 or something like that. But um, it was an e-commerce site. It's very interesting stuff. But um, if you want to hear more about that, just put a comment in the link below or, or send us an email. We'll be interested to tell you a bit more about that. So let's get into your MailChimp account issues. There are a number of reasons that MailChimp will suspend your account. And they've actually released uh, this new update called Omnivore that is really good at figuring out if you're sending out spam or if you don't have permission to send those emails, or if you're doing anything else on their platform that violates their term, terms of use or terms of service or their acceptable use policy. So uh, if you are wondering if you why you're suspended, you really need to read both of those policies, uh, and I'll link those in the in the comments but, or in the description below. The first most common reason that you'll get suspended on Mailchimp is just having prohibited content. Uh, think of any of your taboo sites or things that are generally uh, not accepted online that have an age requirement. Uh, things also like loans and cryptocurrencies are very, very tough. Uh, so they have a very strict policy on prohibited content. So if you are sending anything that is in a specific niche that may not match their terms of service, you really should take a look at that. So if you're not in any of those categories, you really, probably did something wrong and a lot of times people know what they did and they just want to know how to fix it but we will get into that um, but usually there's a certain set of actions obviously if you're sending out spam and you're sending you you've bought a list somewhere and you're just sending some some spam out to a rented list or a bought list you're probably going to get your account suspended or terminated and uh, they pretty much have no patience for that uh, you can work with them, and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit, but that's the first biggest reason is you're actually just spamming people, sending bulk commercial emails, whether it's one-to-one -one or just in a full blast, and MailChimp just can't have that because they need to maintain the integrity of their platform. So if you're spamming, don't do that. You really need to be careful about using any material like photos, videos, or media in your email blasts or newsletter that you don't have the rights to. So think about any kind of videos or especially photos. You know, people will a lot of times will just search photos on, on Google and assume that they can link to the give credit, but you're actually breaking the law. So uh, definitely you don't want to just give away or, or just use anybody else's material. You have to be really careful that you're using your own proprietary material because that's also something that could get suspended. 
Um, a little bit tougher for MailChimp to pick up on, but definitely an issue and something you want to watch out for your business. And that goes throughout your website, social media, your email news blasts and, and your letters, newsletters and things like that. Because, you know, you don't want to have be looking over your shoulder or getting a potential lawsuit or something like that, or even the cease and desist letters that they're, they're pretty intense. Another thing the Omnivore update will look for and MailChimp is looking out for is just making sure that you're not using anything that's misleading, right? So if you're a business, they want to make sure that you're not some anonymous business. It's your real name. It's really authentic. The information's verifiable. So it's coming from a credible source. So if you're using any kind of fake names or anything like that, or misnomers, or uh, you know, just like an alias or something like that, they're probably going to pick up on it and suspend you. Another big reason that your account might have gotten suspended or has issues is that you took off the unsubscribe link. Uh, you have to give people the option to unsubscribe and MailChimp is pretty good about tracking that. It's pretty easy for them to do. So if you're not using the unsubscribe link at the bottom, definitely do that. Another common one is using multiple accounts. Uh, you, you might have a client that wants to use a specific account for, for contacts and another specific account for maybe uh, other kinds of leads or something like that. And so if you try to open up multiple accounts, MailChimp will suspend you. And again, that's something that's easy for them to pick up on and do that. Let's talk about once you've been suspended, usually you're going to receive an email from MailChimp that's saying, you know, you've been suspended for violating our terms of use and, you know, you really need to uh, come into compliance. And, you know, what's really nice is they will give you the opportunity to back up your information and just, you know, leave the platform or close the account if need be. Uh, so for example, let's say you violated the terms of use by opening up multiple accounts. The best thing you can do is kind of just own up to what you've done and say, okay, uh, I understand this is the term that I was violating and this is the steps that you're going to take to fix it. For example, if you're spamming people and or you, you bought a rented list or, or you bought a list, you wanna make it very clear that you're not going to do that again and uh, that you're going to follow all of their best practices and make sure that you have permission to send every email and you're gonna be a really high quality account. And if you do those things, your open rates and your success is going to be much, much better. Um, so it, it's kind of a win-win for everyone, but you want to make sure that you let the person know at that support line that you understand what went wrong, you're taking the steps to fix it, and that you'd like to have your account reinstated. Most of the time, they will work with you and ask you if, let's say, if you have a multiple account to close the other account and then to reinstate your account, or uh, if you have a certain list that was uploaded that you don't have permission to send to, that that list is now removed and that you're organically building your list. If you have any questions about this kind of stuff, uh, generally, uh, if you're the one doing it, you kind of know what went wrong. If not, you have to talk to your marketing department or, or your agency to see why did you get suspended. But um, just make sure you respond to the tickets, be really nice about it. And um, they really want your business as well. So you don't need to leave MailChimp or, or do anything crazy. You just need to follow through on the steps. And I just want to add that MailChimp does want you to send out really high quality emails. So in order to do that, you want to have the cleanest list possible. A lot of times emails can go stale after about 12 months or so. So you want to make sure that you can take, you keep that your email list uh, really cleaned up. Uh, if you have any questions about that, just leave them in the comments below or let me know if you want me to do a video on that. But that is a really good tip to increase your open rates and your deliverability. If you are having account issues, just go through the terms of service and the acceptable use policy and you'll have no problem kind of picking out what's going wrong. Uh, email them, let them know that you're going to take care of that issue and then also just work with them to get it resolved. And if you need to, just you, it's pretty easy to close an account. You can always back up your data. I do recommend um, backing up your data right away. And that's, that's really important. Uh, MailChimp allows you to do that. You just go into your settings, account, um, manage data, and you can export that data right away. So if you have any guys that have any questions about managing your MailChimp account, or if you'd like to work with us, or if you have an idea for another video, please leave it in comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this has helped you at all on your journey. I would really appreciate it for the channel. 
And uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.